and I'm gonna start this video off with an oh hell yeah because ladies and gentlemen according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter as seen on SC Scoops WWE recently ramped up production for Stone Cold Steve Austin merchandise on WWE Shop which will be shown in time the latest be the latest buzz behind the scenes is that Stone Cold Steve Austin and WWE are working together in our and are on good terms again and in some in some capacity will in fact lead to a return for Stone Cold Steve Austin the WWE Hall of Famer another source stated that it's being said this is being done to boost WWE ticket sales network subscribers and is a direct response for Raw's consistent low ratings over the last several weeks. You know, I'm happy. I'm proud. I'm going to get out a beer. I'm going to get some tequila, a wine, on draft, in a glass, out of the glass. But you know what? I don't even know if Stone Cold Steve Austin himself can save the WWE from where it's at at this time. You know, I can only imagine... What Stone Cold Steve Austin himself thinks of the current WWE product. I'm sure he knows and he sees the improvements that have to be done. I'm sure he knows there needs to be some adjustments. How about we put Stone Cold on the creative team? Because I'm sure he has a better mind than half those people on the creative team. Like I said, I'm excited. I am amped. But do you think Stone Cold is going to listen to creative? Do you think Stone Cold is going to give in? Do you think Stone Cold is going to go out there and dress in a bunny outfit? Or be in a diva angle or be on Jerry Springer? Oh, hell no. Stone Cold Steve Austin, a former Royal Rumble winner, former WrestleMania headliner, former WWE champion. A man that has had legendary rivalries and feuds with the likes of Shawn Michaels, Bret the Hitman Hart, The Rock. And it goes on and on. Let's just hope that when Stone Cold returns, they have something compelling. Something that you can get interested. Something that you can get invested in. Because when we hear that glass break, you know there's going to be a stunner. You know there's going to be some beers drank. You know there's going to be a celebration. You know what's going to be top notch. We're going to see middle fingers. We're going to see profanity. We're going to hear it. We're going to feel it. The adrenaline rush. But you know what the sad state of affairs is? Most of the fans in the audience, since there are a lot of children these days, they ain't even going to know who this man is. And that's a sad thing. Because, you know, the WWE fans nowadays, it's, it's such a drastic difference from what it used to be. You know, much of the dedicated, hardcore Attitude Era fans really aren't watching WWE nowadays. I mean, I'm still around. I'm still watching. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know when. But I am. But I am, uh, I am somewhat, you know, that's that's the thing. WWE, as bad as they can be, as horrible as the writing is, as much as we want to criticize and critique it, as much as we want to talk about how weak the fans could change it, the WWE always comes back and does something like this. Something unexpected that's shocking but in a good way. Stone Cold Steve Austin coming back to the WWE is definitely a great thing. And you know what? The lights just went out. That means it's time for me to go to bed. Your comments, your opinions on the toughest SOB and the WWE. One of the greatest superstars of all time. One of the reasons Raw is still on today. Subscribe.